All right, so what do we do on a problem like this? When we have so many parentheses, and if you were to count them, you'd say you have one, two, and three. And what we have is like this grouping hierarchy. We have parentheses inside of another set of parentheses, which we like to kind of, you know, call brackets. What we need to do is understand, well, which parentheses are we going to follow first? And the rule that I want you to follow when looking at a problem like this is always do the innermost parentheses first. See, on the problem like this, we're gonna follow what we call PEMDAS. And the great thing about PEMDAS is it's so easy to remember. The hard thing about PEMDAS is a lot of times it doesn't really give us an accurate description of what we're doing. It just, you know, this starts for parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, subtract. Even though it's a great kind of a starting point, we need to have some context for each of these rules. And so for parentheses is going to be grouping symbols. So therefore that can include parentheses as well as brackets. And also when we're talking about parentheses, you always wanna do the innermost. In the case of doing this problem, let's kind of go through here and let's do the innermost parentheses first before we do any any other operations. One thing I want you to notice is I preserve the parentheses here. I only want you to be able to get rid of the parentheses once the operation has been resolved. And see, in this case, all we simply did was we just simplified what was inside the parentheses. But in this case, we still wanna make sure we have that parentheses preserved. There's a big distinction here. Negative two times negative two is not the same thing as negative two, negative two. The parentheses matter here. So it's really, really important to make sure that we include the parentheses until we resolve them. Why do we have the parentheses in this case? Because the negative two is being multiplied by this negative two. The negative five here is being multiplied by the two. So a lot of times we don't include that operation symbol because we let our understanding of a number right next to a parentheses take care of that. So it's just really important that you recognize that you understand that. And then also just don't like apply an operation with parentheses and be like, okay, I'm done. Now again, we're still on parentheses here because we applied the operation with inside the parentheses, but now we have a couple different operations. We have multiplying, we have subtraction, and we have multiplication. So we're gonna see exponents. And actually, if you notice in this whole problem, we don't have any exponents, right? So I'm just gonna like put an X through it and move through it. So the next one is gonna be multiplied and divide. Now again, obviously we have no division here. Now when we're talking about though multiplication and division, it all kind of depends on how the problem is written. In this case, we don't really need to worry about it, but it's just important to recognize or at least important to note for this video that we're doing multiplication and division. It's not multiplying becomes before division. It's just that you wanna work your way from left to right. And a lot of times we'll, as teachers, we'll write problems that are confusing to kind of trick up the students and that's our fault. Apologies for that. It's important to kind of follow through on the rules and then just make sure that you can always fall back on like, I was doing what you told me to do. Multiply, divide from left to right. We know we're gonna do multiplication and division before we get to addition and subtraction, which you can see here we have subtraction. Again, I gotta stick with inside the parentheses. I don't wanna worry about anything that's outside the parentheses. I'm just gonna focus on what's inside the parentheses. So now you can see that I can apply this operation as well as I can apply this operation. And since they're separated by subtraction, I can do them at the same time. If you wanna do them step by step, you could, but again, left, subtract, and the right, and you're gonna be good. Okay, so now you can see what happened here is I was able to get rid of the parentheses, right? Because I applied the operation, what was the purpose of the parentheses, right? Because parentheses are a grouping symbol. The whole purpose of lefts is to group certain numbers together. We group the five and the seven and the four and the two. And this negative two is multiplied by that grouping. Five was multiplied by the grouping. But once I've now extinguished that multiplication, I don't need the grouping anymore. So now I only have subtraction. I don't have addition and subtraction. But if you did, you'd want to again do the left to right. So always go from left to right here. And actually, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna say left to right, left to right, and then here, I'm just gonna do innermost. You always wanna work from the inside out. So now four minus a negative 10, it's going to be a negative six. Again, notice here, I am preserving that bracket because again, this three is being multiplied by that negative six. Now I can just go ahead and multiply that. Negative three times negative six, that is going to be a positive 18. And then now I can add a positive 18 to an eight, which is going to give me a 26. Now in this problem, we covered a lot of parentheses, but if you wanna see a problem where I include everything from PEMDAS, then check out the next problem I have for you here.